two eras. I must just mention, uh, they're trying to raise money at the moment to, to bring inner city horse riding to the people of Liverpool and build on the success of Park Palace Ponies. That's a cause that is well worth supporting if they try and raise money for that. Richard. So Carnarvon Stakes listed contest, six furlongs. And they're off and racing. So Maximus just a little bit awkward and took a nudge from Hierarchy, who is up there early with Moe. And the two of them setting a relatively brisk gallop have already gone two lengths clear. The grey is Ribby in third place. The organiser is in fourth. In fifth place, Tiber Flow, just partially hidden there, is racing on the inside of Sam Maximus. And the last three, Cadamost over Risk. And last of all at the stage is Erar. So Hierarchy trying to get a little bit of a breather, but was hot to trot early. Leads by three quarters of a length from Moe. Third place for Rippy with Tiber Flow making ground relatively smoothly into fourth place. Sam Maximus away to the right hand side, the organiser to the left. Cadamosto, Risk, and still Eras watches on from the rear. Hierarchy already seems to have seen off Moe, has a lead of a couple of lengths. Tiber Flow continues to make steady progress, coming out of the pack. Sam Maximus over on the far side, then Risk at the moment. Those towards the centre are doing best, and Hierarchy still doing best of all. Eras making ground on with Cadamosto on the near side. Hierarchy pursued by Sam Maximus, Tiber Flow, and then between horses, Risk. Tiber Flow's got to the lead. Eras is battling home on the near side. Just behind those in fourth was Riz. Canamosto came next for Hierarchy, who along with Moe set a pace that they couldn't sustain. And then the organiser, Tiber Flow with Eras thrusting home, but possibly Tiber Flow just had his nose down where it mattered. It is close. But on that, you would favour Tiber Flow to continue the great run for the owners and give William Haggis a great start to Lockinge Day. But it is in the hands of the judge. Tiber Flow with Eras, who came from well off the pace for Jim Crowley in the Bayi colours. Either the owners or William Haggis are going to be successful, but not both. It could be later, though. Yeah, Eras absolutely flew late, but I don't think he's got there. Betfair on the exchange was suggesting that Tiber Flow, Kevin, has held on. It looked like it to me, yeah, it looked fascinating race, whichever one has won, and panned out a little bit different to how we might have expected. Eras has come from a long Here way back. Here is the outcome of the, the right now, the first oh. place. First number nine, Tiber Flow. Tiber Flow Second. into the verdict. Fascinating race, Ed. Look, to be honest, a furlong and a half down, I thought Tiber Flow, he travelled better, better than you could have hoped over this trip, and I thought he'd go and put the race to bed quite well. Green under pressure, um, only barely <laughs> held on. The runner up has come from much further back. He was ridden um, a bit cooler, and he's flown. It's in a two quite nice horses, Ed. And the winner getting a quote of 14 to 1 from William Hill from the Commonwealth Cup. Good from them both, Jason. Yeah, massive from back in third, Sam Maximus. Um, if he settles down and finds him or gets into a better rhythm, and you mentioned the owner.